My responsibility is the um, content for Creative Review, uh, its website, just generally um, to take responsibility for everything that goes into the magazine. For the printed magazine each month we would start off with, um, we would probably have some content in mind already, um, but from the start of the issue we would, as an editorial team, sit down and discuss um, what's to go in that month's issue of the magazine. So some of that might be because there's a certain thing happening, so it'll be kind of topical co content, maybe there's an exhibition going on, or someone's uh, book is being published and there's going to be something related to that. It may be, uh, at certain times of the year, we do uh, special kind of events around the magazine, so the current issue is our annual, which is our sort of awards issue. Um, and then other times it's just simply because some kind of issue has come up and is currently being debated, or um, there's an opportunity maybe to interview someone who's in town or we've got the opportunity to go somewhere and, and, and go and go to a conference or go to an event. So it's kind of a mixture of all those things really which would be discussed in the team and then um, we would look at um, who would write each piece, whether we write them in-house or whether we would commission it out to an outside uh, writer, whether we would need any um, photography commissioning or illustration commissioning. And then I'll produce what's called a flat plan, which is basically um, a plan of that issue showing what's going to go on each page of the magazine. Um, and I work that out based on how many ads need to be in that issue of the magazine. And then from that I can work out how many editorial pages there will be as well, because it's always done on a, what's called an ad-ed ratio, which is the ratio of advertising to editorial pages. Uh, you have to think about how much money you need coming in each month to cover all your costs hopefully make some profit and from that you can work out how many ad pages you need to sell and from that how many editorial pages you can have in the whole package. So if you sell a magazine on the newsstand then you would get um, roughly half the cover price. So for all magazine publishers it's much better if we can get subscribers because if subscribers give us the same amount of money per issue we get all of that money, we don't get 50% of it. But the other good thing about, well there's, there's lots of good things about subscribers, that's one of them. The other one is, um, if you know how many subscribers you have, then you can just print that many issues, whereas on the newsstand, you have to print far more copies than you're ever going to sell, because the shops order uh, a number of copies, and then if they don't sell them, they just return them. So every month you waste up to about half of the copies that you send to the shops. So that's a really wasteful way of, of working. Um, and then also if you have subscribers then you know who those people are and you can, you can have a relationship with them, you can ask them if they want to do other things like go to conferences or go to an event. Um, you can potentially um, you know, sell other things to them as well if you know who they are. And also it just helps generally knowing who's reading your magazine. If you sell a copy on the newsstand and you don't know who's buying it, if you have subscribers, you can ask them things about the magazine, whether there's things that we should be doing better, or what they like about the magazine, what oh, yeah, they don't yes. like about the magazine. So it's just a much yeah. healthier thing to have uh, as so many subscribers as possible. Um, I think it's just that you meet really interesting people doing this job. And you meet people who are very kind of passionate about what they do, and um, you get to write about things which are sort of fundamentally interesting thing which you don't always do.
Uh, we have a very wide readership, so we, our readers would be yeah. people in our agencies, graphic designers, uh, okay. um, people who work with those people like illustrators and photographers or filmmakers. So we need to try and make sure that there's something in each issue for all of those people. That's quite a challenge because they have, although they're kind of related, they also have their own specific concerns. So that would be one of the major issues. Then we'd also be trying to um, bring something fresh, or at least a fresh take or something. My name is Paul, I'm the art director of Creative Review. Um, art direction means different things in different places. Um, magazine art direction in this uh, magazine involves the actual page layout mm -hmm. as well as commissioning yeah. photographic shoots and illustration. And everything else that that entails. Also an awful lot of other stuff that doesn't actually go into the magazine, so kind of uh, things to do with uh, kind of the website and marketing materials and all that kind of thing. Sticking with publishing mainly for the last, last however many years. Uh, yeah, starting off as a design junior and uh, freelancing a bit and working strictly through newspapers and magazines. I enjoy uh, oh, no, no, it been that collaboration. Been I, think. I enjoy working with other creative you people. Have got to have pain on I enjoy being able to commission. Uh, well, I did study uh, design, yeah. but um, I, I wasn't necessarily settled on editorial design. Mm -hmm. Kind of gradually contact people that you're interested in. Take the time to actually contact them directly, don't just send general emails to Sir Madam and other things. If you're interested in their magazine, let them know and just see if you can get in somewhere, you know, a placement or uh, a junior job and uh, just pay a lot of attention and uh, slowly kind of uh, work away from it. Maybe not so slowly, it'd be very good. <laughs> Well, with print, there's, there's always the chance of you know there being a mistake. Yeah. So you know, the, hopefully, the once we you get the, the fewer mistakes there are. But you know, it takes time to uh, know your way around the print process, and, and, and even then, mistakes can happen. Have to do with setting documents up incorrectly, or you know. So, no end of uh, problems that you can have. But if you've got a good repro team, hopefully they can help you to pick things up as well. We have regular interns and uh, sometimes I have a design junior. No, no real. Um, so you, do, you, you make the uh, layouts all by yourself? Mostly.